Hey everybody, this is Dr. Edwin Hussino, historian from Puerto Rico, and I will be taking you on a journey throughout the island. And the first stop is Calle Empatillas, where we are going to go see uh, the mountains and what we call Chinchorreo, which is basically when you go to different uh, roadside restaurants and cafes to just, you know, eat a, eat a, eat a bite and eat particularly local food. We're going to be going to two different uh, restaurants. The first one is La Lechonera Los Amigos. And the second one is the most important one, at least in my my subjective view, is Restaurante El Cuñado. So let's go. So we're here at La Lechonera Los Amigos in Calle. We're going to get a good review, hopefully. So most of the uh, Puerto Rican cuisine comes from a mix between uh, African, Spanish, and obviously a Yeti, better known as Taino um, diet. Um, particularly pig, pork, which is gonna be always gonna be in front of in these in this area. Particularly in every restaurant, uh, you're gonna be one wanting to eat some of that pork, some of that pig. Um, there's also uh, you know rice and beans and in very different combinations. There's also yuca and all these different vegetables that you can get. And you have a mix of Creole, very good food. <laughs> really good food. Now, if you're gonna go chinchorrear um, in the mountains, particularly in the area of Calle and Patillas, you definitely have to go check out uh, Charco Azul. To get there, you have to take uh, you have to go deeper into the mountains. Just put in the GPS, Charco Azul Patillas, and you're going to find it. You're going to get there fast. You're going to go through a lot of chinchorros and a lot of um, houses that are still built in the traditional way of back in the 60s, 70s, after Operation Bootstrap started modernizing uh, houses and, and buildings. You're going to start seeing, you're still going to see that type of construction next to the roads. Uh, uh, houses next to the main road. You're going to go through an old abandoned um, jail house. It, it is a very uh, nice road trip to do when you're in San Juan. It's about, I would say, 30 to 45 minutes away in car. Uh, let's just remember that uh, Puerto Rico is uh, a very American co uh, car culture centered. Uh, so take a car. Just go drive, uh, put in GPS, uh, Charco Azul, and you're going to be there uh, up the mountain. It is very worth it. So Charco Azul is actually part of the broader Carita State Forest. So when you get there, you're going to go actually be going into a forest. El Yunque is not the only tropical forest in Puerto Rico. Um, Carite has the golden coqui, has a lot of uh, sal uh, Paloma Salabanera, which is an endemic species from the island, and a lot of different birds that you're going to be able to hear and listen, and a lot of trees. But one of the more particular trees I want to talk to you about is El Yagrumo, which local folklore says that if you're standing under a Yagrumo and, uh, and the leaves turn white, or gray while you're under it, you're a hypocrite. Um, that's just local folklore. But it is interesting in, in terms of that the Yagruma is also one of the trees that would uh, alert um, the natives when a hurricane would be coming. So, to end this little trip of ours, we have to head south, but we have to head up. Up to Calle, up to the main uh, town of, the, of Calle, to the main uh, roadway of Calle, which is road number one. Road number one will take you all the way to Restaurante 
el cuñado. Oh my God, the food here is heavenly. The food here is award winning. It's just natural. It's mm, you just have to take. If you want to come eat good after going to the Sur, you have to come to El Cuñado. It's just the best place. Trust me, you're you're not gonna you're not gonna regret it. <laughs>